Hi, welcome to Malaysian Gamers. My name is Ducky. So for those of you who don't know, the new SimCity is coming out March this year, 2013. I can't wait to see it. I'm really excited. But fortunately, I got a chance to participate in the closed beta over the weekend. Now entering Summer Shoals, herding llamas. Who doesn't love llamas? So this is the tutorial of SimCity. I'm going to try and leave this video as unedited as possible so you can get the best feel for the game. It is my first playthrough, so hopefully it's not too boring, but we'll see how we go. So here we've got the basic camera tutorial. Every game has it, you know how it is. Scroll to zoom in, zoom out, left click to rotate, right click to pan, WASD to pan, Q and E to rotate as well. I'll try to get through this as quick as possible. And we've been in the tutorial. Yeah, she sounds like a sim, that's kind of cool. First thing I noticed was that the textures are kind of low resolution. That could be due to just being a beta. The download was kind of small, it's only about 4 gigs. So I believe that the textures could probably be a lot higher resolution in the final version. That's just speculation, but uh, you can decide for yourself. I think the game looks fantastic, even with low resolution textures. Just the animations, the way the cars zoom around, the depth of field and the motion blur, it all works together really well. The sounds are fantastic as well, as you come closer to different areas of town you'll get more traffic noises, you'll get noises of people talking, little background chatter, I think it's great. Good old demand bus, who doesn't remember that for the original SimCity? Yeah, I have no idea what you just said. Here's what I would consider the first major change from the older SimCities. You can only place zoning along roads, you can't place them in big blocks of land like you used to. <laughs> Looks like they learnt from SimCity 4 where the roads would be automatically generated for you as it placed large chunks of zoning and it was terrible. The algorithm was terrible and always made roads haphazardly, your city would become really messy, you would have to resort to super micro management of your zoning and just making sure that the game wasn't making these horrible roads for you. It's kind of cool, we can follow the truck along the roads and right to the construction site. I'm really cleaning up this place. Oh yeah. I love the way the shadows sweep across the ground as the time changes. It's a random boat. And the industrial area is looking a little bit empty and not very busy at all. Guess everybody's out rioting. <laughs> it's 
the shul. Well, it must be a lunchtime. So Matt truck drove to the end, did a U-turn and turned around. That was weird. Alright, we're moving on. I think the ship just kind of bumps into the shoreline out there in there. <laughs> Can use a bit better AI. There's lots of data panels in this game. It's that's good. I like that. I like that it, it shows you a really nice summary, nice and clean on the heads up display but you can access all this extra detail. I'm pretty sure I'll be making full use of that, the full version. <laughs> right back at you, buddy. That logo there, industrial building, reminds me of something from Evil Genius. Gonna be a lot of watch, a lot of fun to watch your buildings just come up. I can't wait. I like how it shows the wind. That's kind of cool. Uh, I suppose that has an effect on how your pollution plays out. Wind can't be blowing in the same direction all the time, can it? Just trying to see if the industrial zone works any differently to the residential zones, but nope. You have to place it in long roads again. One thing I notice is missing is the uh, simoleons coming off when you build stuff. Should be telling you how much you just spent. The rain's pretty basic. I was kind of hoping for better. Just like the classic. I like how it shows you your income per hour. That means that anytime you go into the red, you'll be able to see it instantly instead of having to look at a, like a full financial report, which can be a bit confusing sometimes. Guy looks like a scientist more than a uh, finance guy. I like this screen as well. I like the graphs. Makes it really easy to see. They put a lot of time and effort into the UI. I think they've done a really good job about displaying a lot of complexity in a really simple way. telling me what to do. I thought I was the mayor of the town. Ah, the 
region view. This is kind of nice. So it'll be interesting to see how this works in the full game. The full game is all online and you'll have neighbours that are being played by other players. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You have to be online to play the game. But it could add a lot to it, it could take away from it. There might be griefers, who knows. We have a great work site. It's apparently at an airport, but all I see is grass. So this is kind of new, we can buy water from neighbouring cities. I believe this was something in line of what you were meant to be able to do in SimCity 4, but it never really worked properly. You always ended up building your cities to be completely self-sufficient anyway. <laughs> it looks like they're sending ICB himself away or something, but they're really just sending water. This view kind of confused me at first, I was kind of like, hang on, I thought we had water, why are we flashing red? But you can notice that the pipes are built all under the ground, under the roads, which is what most people did in the original SimCities anyway. So that's kind of cool, that's an improvement, you don't need to do so much micromanagement of building those little pipes everywhere. The previous mayor. Uh, he was messed up. Money grabber. The game's really smooth, but I never really noticed any frame drops, even on my older GTX 460. This is all at high graphics, I'm sure. Possibly in the full version that the graphics are going to be just a little bit better. Maybe you'll get better textures or better, you know, models and things like this. But um, it's it's a very smooth game. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of varieties in the vehicles and the buildings that'll make the game interesting for a long longer. Uh, it'll just be. It's going to see everywhere. I do like how these trucks and things have their roots and actually park in the buildings, that's kind of cool. This is really nice actually. I like the sound effects here. It's a very satisfying click. Looks like we need a police station. And these guys never stop picketing. Gosh. Go to sleep. Far out. Open and close button is like a power button. That's kind of funny. This kind of reminds me of like Crazy Taxi or GTA 4 or something like that. <laughs> I couldn't rotate the screen here, so we just stuck looking at the building. like raises his hands and then pulls out a gun. So they're falling over the like they're getting shot but then they just get straight back up. A couple of the cops are wearing shorts. 
<laughs> they walk into the concrete and disappear. Apparently walking into the concrete is equal to walking into your car and driving off. I do like how the criminal car's just stuck there. Four bodyguards there. That's awesome. I've got my own secret service. Look to this game, but I really like the cartoon look. I think when you go for a super realistic look, anything that looks slightly out of place or slightly wrong sticks out massive like a sore thumb. Whereas if you have this cartoon look, like this SimCity does, anything that's a little bit odd, well, it's just gonna kind of blend in. You're gonna just look over and go, eh, whatever. And personally, I think if the cartoon look allows them to have a lot more animation, a lot more motion, a lot more things happening on the screen, more characters, that sort of thing, I think I would definitely prefer that than them using like photorealistic textures and just being having these static buildings, everything's just not moving. I think the city needs to feel alive and it really does in this game. The round brown circles look like big blobs of poop. You got poop everywhere in this city. I like how it moves around like that. It looks like aliens or something. I thought you had to place the outflow pipe near the sea. That kind of made sense to me. But apparently you can just place it inland. Or you have to place it inland. are kind of cool. They kind of look like a uh, mirror's edge. Is it just me or does that old lady look like a boy?
That's not where I wanted to put it, but oh well, I just destroyed two massive buildings to play some classrooms. That's kind of a nice way to do upgrades to your school. That's an interesting idea. The tutorial does drag on a bit, it tries to teach you a lot in a very short amount of time. Right about now I'm just kind of feeling like I just want to get in and explore and do it all on my own and find out about it. I don't think the tutorial's ever going to be able to teach you every single feature and show you every little thing about it, so just like any other SimCity I suppose, you'll just have to jump in and just kind of discover it for yourself. One thing for sure is that this new SimCity is a lot more complex. It's got a lot more happening in it. There's a lot more systems in place. There's a lot more just sort of simulation happening and I think it's going to be really interesting. It's going to give players a lot of things to do and a lot of things to play around with and have fun with. This is cool, you can visit neighbouring cities and you can see that the load times are pretty darn reasonable, it doesn't take super long to load up at all. It's a pretty modern looking city, they had a solar panel, power plant.
That was cool. I guess that's a sneak preview of the disasters that can happen. Can't wait to see what else they have got in there. Looks like a little bit of damage was done, but not too bad. Love how the traffic banks up. And that is the tutorial for the new SimCity. I know that tutorials aren't the most riveting to watch, but I hope you learned something about it, and I hope you had a good time anyway. I certainly had a good time playing the tutorial. I learned a lot about the new SimCity. Can't wait to start building some cities from scratch. I will be playing more SimCity across the weekend and taking some videos. If you guys like this, we'll have some more videos coming your way.